All right, welcome everybody. I'm Al Letizio Jr. We are here today in search of the holy grail of making the world's greatest ham. So I have with me uh, Bob Tessitore, Senior Vice President of AJ Letizio Sales and Marketing. And I have my great friend uh, Ralph Fioli, the owner of uh, Ralphie's Cafe Italiano in Salem, New Hampshire. Uh, what we're doing today is we're starting out with some fresh hams uh, right off the hog. And uh, we are processing these hams. We're going to cure them. And we are going to smoke them the old-fashioned way so we can have a real down-home fantastic ham experience this Easter. All right, so we're starting I'm, I'm out with a whole cryovac ham here. So this is actually the entire ham, including yeah, the which, H-bone, which is, which is what the I pelvis be, bone. I didn't do that before. Uh, right? All of the bones, the skin, the, the hock. It uh, it's not something you would usually see on your Easter table. We're just so accustomed to seeing this little nugget of ham or spiral sliced ham on our table, but oftentimes people don't realize where it comes from. Once we get the skin off the ham, the next step is to remove the H-bone. When the H-bone is removed and the skin is removed, you end up with a ham that looks like this. So we leave about an eighth inch uh, fat cover on the ham. We've removed that hip bone and that makes for easy carving after it's done. And then the uh, next step that we do from there is we're actually gonna do an old fashioned cure injection. So the conversion of the meat from being pork to ham involves the addition of a cure. And you can see right here, I have a cure mixture that we've made up uh, that uh, involves a uh, salt curing agent as well as some flavorings, including brown sugar. So that is going to be introduced to the muscle through an artery injection. So we're gonna be using the actual circulatory system of the animal to push the brine cure, push this cure right through the natural uh, arterial structure and through the capillaries and into the muscle. And once that's in there, our ham is gonna cure for about 24 to 48 hours in total. We are gonna submerge the uh, artery injected ham into a curing bucket, refrigerate it, and let it sit and cure for that period of time. And then right along here, if you look closely, you'll see the opening to the femoral artery. Uh, that's it right there. This artery extends all the way through the ham. And if you look down at the hock end here, you can see where the femoral artery comes out. We are going to insert our injection uh, needle in and gently follow the artery in. So we have this on a scale. We're starting out with uh, about 26.8 pounds of uh, cure. We've got about a 30 pound ham here. We're gonna put three pounds of cure in. Okay, so we have now completed the process uh, of uh, stage one, which is to get all of our hams trimmed, artery injected, and cured. And now we have them in our brining buckets and they'll remain in here overnight for a 24 hour period before we go to our next step, which would be the drying, netting, and smoking. And that's what we'll pick up again tomorrow. 